I joined the Marine Corps in 2005, right after I graduated high school. My time in Iraq was, was interesting. It had its ups and downs. Scott and I met in a church parking lot. He rode up on his motorcycle, and that's how we began talking and starting a friendship from there. When I got out of the military, I wanted to do a job that was very similar to that. To, to achieve that, I really, I just wanted to go into law enforcement. Competition out there is really stiff. You know, there are three, four hundred candidates, and you know, I'd make it pretty far. You know, maybe to the top ten, and then obviously wasn't selected. I'm a vet. I have a background, I have a degree. Why can't I find a job? Like, it, it was just mind boggling to me. I took a job in security, because it's really the easiest thing to get into that's law enforcement like. I'm doing my normal routine patrol and I stopped in this complex at like three o'clock in the morning and the news came on and I heard about a helicopter that had went down in Florida and it was full of Marines from uh, 2nd MSOB, uh, Marine um, Special Operations. And I knew that a friend of mine, you know, was stationed there. And he had, I think he had just got back from Afghanistan. He had just won the Silver Star. Like, there's no way that it would be him. Yeah, and then, I, you know, a couple days later, that you know, found all the parts washing up on the beach and whatnot. It's, they, never, they never made it. When Andy died, that's when it hit me. I was like, dude, like, that guy made it to the top, but then it's like, well, well, now he's gone. Him and his wife just announced that they were pregnant with their first baby the weekend before the helicopter crash. So Scott then realized, wow, that could be me. I could leave my wife and my two kids so it was a huge shift for him. I found out about Workshops for Warriors through a friend of mine that came through this program. And we were actually drinking some beers and celebrating Andy's life. My buddy Josh said, like, hey man, I was, you know, went through the welding program, Workshops for Warriors, they have a machining program, maybe you, sh you should look into it. And I'm like, yeah, I think I will. The day that Scott got hired at Workshops for Warriors was a huge relief. We have a husband, we have a dad, he's there with us, and we can go camping on the weekends, we can do family activities, and he's there. It means the world to us to have him back in our life. Our students are getting nationally recognized credentials they can take anywhere and, and, and get a really, really good paying job. These students are the guys that sacrificed gone overseas, got shot at, got blown up. Now we're giving back to them. We're allowing them to just live their lives with a sense of pride. Why should you donate to Workshops for Warriors? Because you're not just donating to the guys in the program or the ladies in the program, you're actually donating to their whole family. Yeah, we bought a condo just recently, yeah. We get to paint walls and move in furniture and our girls have a special room that's just theirs and they even have a backyard. I love coming home and I don't know, who gets the experience. I hope everyone does at some point in their life, but walking up to your house and the kids are screaming at you from the door, Daddy's home. That's just, anything that happened at work at that point, it just doesn't matter. <laughs> it's, it's, it's awesome. We climbed the mountain and we're at the top and it's just bright days and it's amazing.